Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. We are now in the final match, which is a best of three of Group D. 12 o'clock location, we have Advil starting as the White Terran bottom left-hand corner. We have Lana starting as the Brown Protoss. Knowing that Lana, more often than not, is going to favor the quick three base play and trying to macro from there and oftentimes neglects robotics facilities, I got to give Advil the advantage here because Advil is very strong with vultures. I've seen Advil go to factory play multiple, multiple times, have very solid, very methodical pushes across the map. Saw that last season. So Lana, gonna have his work cut out for him. That being said, this is Neo Sylphid. There are quick three bases to take. It's rampless, which means early Dragoon pressure can be game ending. We have seen Lana do that multiple matches. Advil lining up with his supply depot at the natural. It's possible that we'll see Advil go for a front door seal again into two factory play. Might be indicative. Also, it's also possible that we're gonna see Lana on a three player map go for 12 Nexus, something along those lines. Gateway plopping down. I almost caught myself saying isometric because that's like oftentimes what I want to say after saying three player map. I'm, I don't think this map is isometric. Isometric is where you can take the, the one third chunk and rotate it around and it's mirrored all the way around. And I don't think this map uh, is isometric. So if you catch me saying that, looks like we're not going to see 12 Nexus, by the way. If you catch me saying that, you can go ahead and give the, the valid harassment because my brain just wants to do that continuation thing. Refinery being tacked on, so it looks like it is not going to be a barracks into expand. Assimilator warping in. Initial probe making its way out to scout. That front door is sealed, however, with that supply depot. Havel taking a trick from that last match, leaving a little bit of health there, not bothering to continue to build, sneaking the SCV out. It was a nice little trick, sneak the SCV out over the wall. Proceed forward, 7x core being built. See if Lana ops. So building a second pylon before initial zealot to make sure probe production continues. We'll see if there is a zealot produced at all. We haven't seen that in the previous matches. Lana checking bottom right hand corner as is Advil. Small adjustment they can do to the build. Looks like no zealot this time as the supply is there, but just going to go for a dragoon instead. First factory. Online, three SCVs still inside gas, so it looks like Advil is going to opt to go for two factory play here to start. Which means this could be a quick one, knowing Lana's proclivities. Marine also staying away from the wall. Barracks not glowing, which might put Lana into a false sense of security. Because oftentimes when you see the lack of glowing barracks, you think, oh, okay, I'm not going up against some sort of timing push at the very least. Third pylon. I do want to see this improvement in Lana's play next season, is that third pylon hidden to a corner or someplace to make it a little bit more challenging for scouting SCVs to see that third pylon can be crucial to find. Instead, lining it straight up. Sees the 7 eggs core spinning. Second Dragoon should be in position to go ahead and take care of that. Probe hanging out alongside. Machine shop. Looks like a couple of marines being snuck in. Lana has that probe out of position to see that glowing barracks to recognize the push timing. Dragoon also holding back and we could get some free shots and maybe force some construction, dropping the Nexus behind this, that SCV being pushed out. Dragoon looks like it's going to go ahead and chase it down. Yeah, still not assaulting that front, maybe waiting for range, which isn't necessary without the bunker here. Second machine shop. First tank in construction. I think this is going to be a one tank for Marine push with the Vulture upgrades to follow. Usually that push moves after the first two Vultures are constructed. We do have three Dragoons and two Probes to engage it initially. Actually going to be five Marines, it looks like. And actually, no, going for the three Siege Tank variation. So three Siege Tanks rather than... Uh, but we are going to see Vultures after that. Tank needs to be careful out on the front, doing a little bit of damage to the Dragoons. Dragoons now working on that Supply Depot. Very, very patient play here from Advil. Just trying to do damage, bring a single SCV off. All indicators are that this is just a standard build, maybe one factory into expand. 
We have two gateways up. Two additional siege tanks are out. Mines, etc. Researching. Lana on hold position, taking a free couple shots there. Does Lana back them out to the right and go for a backstab or trail? Looks like going to trail. So this is going to be on a shield battery on the front to try to defend this. SV wandering out there otherwise. Probe actually already in position to grab that third base. Three Dragoons moving forward. Didn't get a lot of staggered damage on any of these troops. Probes pulling off the line to help defend. This is going to be the match right here. Tanks getting good concentrated fire on that forward Dragoon. It is wiped out. The Vulture is able to sweep in. Mines planted behind and the mines not focus fired. Three Dragoons down in an instant. And that will give Advil the match as the tanks continue to push forward into the natural Lana, calling GG immediately. Well played by Advil. That's about as textbook as you're going to get. All right, going to move on to the next one. Oof, that was rough. Well played by Advil. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.